And I'll have the mess we go to the wild floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time. And there. Just have this cutscene play out. Keen and Gein. I don't know. That's kind of a video game trope now, isn't it? What? If you don't take out both on the same turn, but one will revive the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we show the teamwork between the two enemies. Yeah. Especially when they're solar opposite. Have yeah. you ever seen that show? No. It was pitched to Hulu. They said they don't understand it, but fuck it, go for it. Yeah. Now it's in its, what, second season with two more on the way? I mean, all I saw of it was that was made by the same people who made Rick and Morty. Which is why it works. Yeah. I think there are like tree based people living with living in a house that was above their that they crashed into via their spaceship. Uh -huh. yeah. Your stuff is alright. Yeah, well, everyone expect a uh, any less from from that crew of people. Fair enough. Say so while we while this battle plays out, you wanna go over the rest of the Switch game? Sure thing. Got a uh, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, which nice. I I didn't play it. Did mm -hmm. you? Vader's Apprentice. You play uh, I know that much. April 20th. <laughs> A lot of people are gonna be going out of their minds playing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's, well, watching that. You know, hearing about it, and it's like, Chrono Cross, doesn't that game suck? Just because you don't know how to play a JRPG. I think it also the letdown from uh, Chrono Trigger. Yes. I, I think I'll play it just but at least see. there's some sort of peaceful mode, so you don't have to fight any if you're not. Yeah. Say that, yeah, I'd say that the your know, grinding is one of the most key parts of the JRPG. Yeah. Zombie Army 4. I'm sure that's important to someone. Have people been waiting like a while for that game though? Uh, I wouldn't know. Actually, a person and not just a, a thing they made up for their scam. There's a bright light, night light, and bright bright mm. as the three sprites. Well, someone gave money for it, so yeah. I guess people said go for it. Okay. 
the uh, yeah, the Kickstarter made uh, sixty-two thousand uh, of uh, fifteen thousand. Nice. Uh, it would be great to see the game come out one day. And I would. I think that's maybe I'll become a millionaire and fund them, you know, uh, porting it to a Switch or whatever. And how shenanigans are happening by then. Or you can just virtually, virtually play it. Like, connect your brain to something and be able to control it all with your mind. Because virtual, virtual ski ball just feels like real virtual ski ball. Yeah. Uh, in the, uh, VR waking the law. Look, Ma, I'm waking the law! But how you can just do that at home? me trying to get that giant crystal. I think. Well, why not, right? Yeah. It would be fun to just bat enemies around with the giant crystal. Yeah. So did you hear the people who translated the Earthbound and then Mother the Earthbound series, Mother One and Mother Three for their project? Got a theme. It was for a college Japanese language project. They got they got themselves C and D by Nintendo. Yeah, well, that's uh, basically, yeah, sadly, uh, to be expected. Uh, that kind of thing, you just, what you really have to do is just drop it on a file, so, like, sharing website, and then just vanish into the night. Because once those files get out there, there's no stopping them. Yep. And you can't see in D fun. I mean, you can try, but everyone's gonna cut loose. Foot loose. Kick off Sunday shoes. Jeez Louise, I wasn't get expecting you to sing. And, uh, and. Uh, uh, Remember the entrance to this maze? Well, I didn't, so you're going to see me get lost in this maze for a long time. Just going round and round in circles. But for the title card, we'll try and fan art of these characters and just do all what Chunky Moon does. Zoom in so it's child friendly but hyper realistic looking. Yeah. And 
I'm totally not looking that up right now, so I am just ahead on the title card. I mean, that would just be cheating by less players' rules. Probably. I I think we are making our own rules. Uh, uh, we can just go by the Mungo Jerry uh, lifestyle and just do as we feel. Yeah, the name will. And now my brain's completely forgetting how to, to remember too. In a serious Vegeta's widow peak. And the other one stressed like the beekeeper honey cat one. Wait a sec. And now begins the great being lost and wandering around mindlessly. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, you there's a, that. No, but there's a little uh, cave drawing of Mario and Luigi. Yeah. Nice. They just couldn't help themselves. Got another patch for uh, the uh, girl character. You with Tara, do it zero. Yeah. Yep. You sure it's like the Nico? Strong we have to have her name on it. Yep. Get me. Why a Kiko? Okay. I got the Kaiser bolt, which is as was just shown, it's the same thing as the regular lightning, but you have to mash the one you have to mash the buttons. I have guest pressing this. Oh, that's how she can do it. Yeah. 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 That's what I'd name it if I were to ever get a unicorn. Name it corny. Yeah. You see, it's very useful. Very useful. As useful as Kaizo tricks in a regular Mario game. Yeah. Have you ever played Kaizo Mario? Nope. I know it's very hard. And I have enough trouble with the regular Mario. It's not regular hard, it's hard all the way to the tip. Ah. <laughs> You're disappointed in how I did that. Maybe I'm just disappointed with the second. scenario I was taught in uh, high school was being boxed in by four uh, 18 wheelers. Nice. I don't know how one would even find themselves in that situation. B 
be not afraid, children. Shot by a shield. Get your eyes down by a shield. It's like they're chimera. But still. I can't see the only reason why. Yeah, we the very cutesy on purpose, so. That's. Sort of the where a lot of uh, Earthbound alikes get their inspiration for it. New Joe Jerkin. Average for a woman. Yeah. Now five ten. Now that's tall for a woman. And um, I just know a lot of, a lot of short people. Yeah. I'm the tallest of my family. What if I find a hot woman who's even taller? What if I can climb her with a tree? That's an Amazonian. Yeah. A dream come true. You're not wrong, I was just giving a more accurate description. Mm -hmm. coming back, just that they should come back. Yeah, this just seems to be about their animated project. Ten anime, that's totally different. Yeah, that would. It's different from the normal anime, but. I think that was a dead one. I like it. Uh, I've actually have know about the anime, but I've never watched it.
Yeah. I think uh, I saw somewhere that uh, death, uh, not death, but, um, why did I have to post the yard for it? Forget the name. That Soul Eater was going to be getting a new anime that's more closer to the original manga. Why sleep with a gun under your pillow when you can sleep on your weapon? You get cold from it. Oh, that's why you have to get that too. Yep. If you weren't so bothered by symmetry, I think you'd do a lot more fun in terms of that. Mm -hmm. um, Well, maybe they could be perfectly symmetrical. And especially the, um, in that one area. Well, well, tight. Yeah. You got lost, didn't you? Oh, I've been lost. It's like... I found the items and have been lost for 20 minutes at least. So, at this point, it's just me wandering around. Yeah, moving away from the arrows might help with that, but arrows won't switch away from the arrows. I'm going to have to put them over the side. I was going off the basis that the. Yeah, the arrows were uh, put there by the guy who died there, and therefore useless. Or put there by the caddies as a way to make people get more locks inside the maze. Yeah. No. But I don't we won't I don't remember which word is the way out then. Dungeon man, take me by the hand, take me out of this. Dungeon man had a submarine. And you know you could progress the next area. part of your party and he does that he's a part of your party for all of uh, 20 feet because he can't get past the trees yep you throw a teddy bear behind him he keeps the teddy bear yeah. that's the biggest your party ever gets so. yeah. 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 Have you, uh, have you been playing uh, as found on the virtual console? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, I did my full let's play with the reproduction part, so I think I'm gonna uh, try to play uh, 
mother one first. And then we'll actually go back and play the uh, Earth player. Nintendo has asthma. Because of my asthma, he is not strong. Yes, but what if he magic away his asthma? He's not magic, it's psychic. Like it. mm -hmm. You can't really psychic away the weakness unless you're changing the whole body. Mm -hmm. Expanding the lungs in your, in your chest with so many pointy bones. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the pointy bits are all pointing one way, you know, outwards, away from the lungs. The body's are weird like that, though. I'm sure the lungs are still in the body. Cool. It was at this point he knew he was lost. This is me being Zoro levels of lost and doing the uh, place your hand on one on the right side and go from there. You'd be set in the back room then. Yeah. I keep an empty. I keep a blank key in my wallet in case I need to mark the wall as to where I've been. Yeah. You know I told you about that, right? Uh, and don't you also have, like, pens and markers? Yes. Yeah. Three pens, one mar marker. Something in the pad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of them has the code written on it, because I've had it go to 10 months. Uh -huh. This is fun. So if I'm dealing with anything electronic that has the ability to scan. The, the, the one benefit of getting lost in this maze is that I've grinded out quite a bit. Yep, I'm like level 10 at this point. And I've learned to dodge effectively. Yeah. Oh. For the most part. Yeah. Nah. Nothing a bird can't fix low in a video game like this. Yeah. I'm dodging more often than I'm being hit, let's put it that way. Uh-huh. That's where you got the of it. Well, the, that came from, uh... Uh, yeah, memories in the, uh... Place I got it from. Yeah. I can hear the comment section now. Does he know he's talking out, or does he? Perhaps. Mayhaps yeah. is my response. Well, I got it from somewhere in this maze. And. You know, past me and present me are just as helpful at gets, uh, getting out of this maze as each other. And present you is just watching, yeah. laughing at you. Yep. When we, uh, we visit this, I'll, I'll, uh, have to find some way to, you know, remember my way out of here. Alright. So I, I just kinda 
blindly ran in. Unless we cut the video off to and uh, pick back up at where we ended it. Mario and Luigi. Yep. Yeah, there's not much to talk about when you're lost in a maze, fighting every I made a ten clear steps or so. I proved joke, so I got that. Yeah. That would be a good one for these. I can only get to guess so much of what you're talking about through contest. See the the approaching end times. What do you think that means? Make a joke about editing software taking forever to export. Mm, no. I think we should uh, probably cut the episode off here. Oh. We're almost at the end of the of the recording. How many episodes are we going to break this down into? Uh, we would do like 30 minute chunks. So, Thanks. Uh, but you're wondering, did I make it out of here and save? Did I... do I still have any amount of sanity left? Find out in the next episode of Blue Omega Operation. Yep. Kickstarter game. The link will be in the description below because this is awesome and we would love to see if you make it. Yep. It's a, a lot of fun. Because there are few things in other Mario RPG RPG or Mario RPG in total. Just tell the story of Super Luigi 5, Super Paper of Luigi. What Luigi's doing during Super Paper Mario. And the game's even fun, even when it crashes. Yeah. Bye!